Meghan Markle is facing fresh allegations over alleged bullying of her employees. This thing, no matter how hard she tries, is just not going away. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to the Dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we, because as we all know, this fresh new set of allegations of her bullying, allegedly, was kicked off by the Hollywood Reporter. We all know, though, that originally... All these rumours, all these allegations actually happened a couple of years back when Valentine Law released his book, Courtiers. But now new and fresh allegations against Megzi have been released. And it's all from a florist, yes, who has vowed never to work with her again as Megzi allegedly screamed at this florist over social media posts that she said invaded her privacy, which Firstly, we all know is hypocritical BS because opinion conspiracy theory, whatever. How many times has Megzi invaded the privacy of the royal family? I mean, come on. Pot calling kettle black, right? Anywho, uh, so insiders have come forward with fresh claims, brand new claims against Megzi. Uh, saying that she screams at employees on the phone and has reduced staffers to tears. And so in a new article, editor Tom Sykes recounted the allegations of more former staff members and courtiers who say they were mistreated by Megan. And this is a new article for the Sunday Times. And so one former staffer told the reporter, quote, I witnessed people being chewed up in person and over the phone and made to feel like shiz. It was an incredibly fraught time, and I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. She has said herself she was, and I've got to be very careful here for YouTube Human Reviewer, but she wanted to unalive herself at times. Very, very sad state of affairs to really be pushed at that point by someone who allegedly, you know, felt like she wanted to unalive herself as well during her time in the royal family. Come on. Now, the reporter spoke to the celebrity florist who faced apparently the full brunt of Megzi's rage. Now, the florist claimed to have posted a detail about a bouquet of flowers that they were working on for Megzi. But the thing is, they did it on social media and they didn't actually say that Megzi was the client. They just posted the flowers. No one would have known who they were for in the first place. But Megzi being Megzi turned into a privacy monster diva, apparently screamed down the phone at the florist for invading her privacy. And so the reporter uh, wrote, uh, they vowed never to work with her again, despite the prestige of having her as a client. If you were working for her, you were often treated like a tradesman who could be treated like shiz. Now, Apparently, I've heard through the grapevine on the internet that this screaming match against the florist was nearly half an hour long. Come on. Like, seriously? For posting on social media a bunch of flowers without identifying who the client is? Those flowers could have been for anyone. But allegedly, Megzi being Megzi, rings the florist up and completely screams holy hell down the phone to her for nearly 30 minutes, if you believe the rumours. Wow. No wonder the florist has vowed never to work with her again. I'll tell you something. If I got, right, a letter through my front door with an offer to work for Hazard and Megzi, I'd be like... I don't think so. I don't think so. Because based on all the allegations, I love myself so much more to not be screamed at or bullied by any employer. 
I've got too much self-respect and care and love for myself to not be subjected to that kind of ABUSE alleged. <sighs> yeah, again, no wonder the florist is turning around and saying I've blacklisted her. It's just not going to happen ever, ever again. But, yep, cue <laughs> the defense of Meg Z right on time because as soon as those fresh allegations came out, oh, Meg Z's friend is paying tribute to her in an unusual way as Meg Z continues to be hit by these bullying allegations. Like I said right at the beginning of the video, this saga, this scandal is just not going away for Megzi, no matter how hard she tries. And yes, now there's a further defense of Megzi, but how long until new allegations come out over her alleged bullying? T minus five minutes, I think. Anywho, what is now the new defense for Megzi over these fresh allegations? Well, She's being hailed by one of her old pals for her, quote, unconditional love. Yeah, she really showed unconditional love over that alleged phone call with the florist when she was screaming down the phone at her just for sharing a picture of some flowers without actually identifying who those flowers were for. Yeah, great way to show unconditional love, right, guys? Uh, but yes, this defense is from author and TV producer Lindsay Jill Roth. Uh, paid a sweet tribute to a friend uh, over 24 years in a new interview while promoting a new book, Romances and Practicalities, A Love Story May Be Yours, in 250 Questions, to be released in January. Uh, and so they both met during their freshman year at Northwestern University when they both joined a literature class. And so this is how they know each other. Now the author told people that she's included a heartfelt message for Megzi in a new book's acknowledgement, saying she hasn't read her acknowledgement yet. I've saved that as a little token for her to see when the book comes out. I do not believe that for a second. Megzi is so controlling if you're to believe the rumors and the allegations that anyone that speaks about her or talks about her, writes about her, I would 100% believe she has a hand in that, that she's seen it, that she signed off on it for privacy and security purposes. Yeah, she's seen it. She probably wrote the freaking acknowledgement herself. Let's be real here, guys, okay? Uh, but the author turned around and praised uh, her, adding, I think it's rare to find friends who love you unconditionally. I've been lucky in my life to have a few who I truly consider family. It's almost like those words aren't enough. Yeah, but allegedly those screaming words were enough for the florist to turn around and be like, I'm blacklisting Megzi. I'm never working with her ever again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Apologies. A little bit of an itchy nose there. She also mentioned Prince Harry, who along alongside her husband, Gavin Jordan, another Brit, she described as wonderful, saying, I often get asked, is it really special that you both married Brits? What I say is, it's special that we both married such wonderful people. I'm just asking for a friend. Did she actually read the book Spare? <laughs> Did she? I wonder how wonderful she really thinks as it is uh, after she reads Spare, because I, I don't think she read it. I, I really, really don't. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's rare to find friends who love you unconditionally. Yeah, really nice to uh, show unconditional love when it comes to a florist, right, Megzi? Really nice to choose that option. But she didn't, allegedly. Instead, she chose not to show her famous unconditional love. And instead chose to show her famous, unconditional, alleged anger and bullying towards the florist. Just for simply sharing a photo of a bunch of flowers without identifying that it was for Megzi in the first place. But still, that was enough for Megzi to show her famous, alleged, unconditional bullying and anger towards the florist. Allegedly, if you're to believe the rumours, for 30 minutes, nearly 30 minutes, screaming down the phone towards this poor florist who all she did, or he did, 
was share a bunch of flowers picture on social media without identifying that they were for Megsy. They could have been for anyone. But Megsy allegedly went absolutely apeshes all over her. No wonder the florist is blacklisting her. No wonder I would imagine so many people are blacklisting Megsy. Like I said, if I got a letter through the door with an offer to work for Megsy and Azza, I'd be like, Pfft. and given all these new allegations that are coming out, I can only imagine that it's going to be even more difficult for Megsy and Hazard to find new people uh, to work for them. Because I can only imagine that people in Hollywood, California, oh, I think Megsy and Hazard are starting to be on some people's blacklists. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, you do not want to miss my next video that's going to be released in a couple of hours' time. The question here for the next video, do Prince Harry and Meg Megsy Markle want IPP status to get immunity from the upcoming Diddy case? Mm, you do not want to miss that next video. So to make sure you don't miss it, make sure on your way out, you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Marco meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions over Megzi's new allegations uh, over the bully in employee situation and I bet you got some thoughts about that then make sure you send me a super thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters